and welcome to the channel where we talk about only good comics. I'm Brant Fowler, and this is Friday First, the show where I talk about brand new number one issues, character debuts, new story arcs, and the like that are coming out next week. So this is for books that are coming out November 22nd and 21st, if you count DC on Tuesday, um, of 2023. And uh, I got some books to talk about. But before we get into that, I do want to let everybody know that I recently started a TikTok and uh, I've been doing shorts. Uh, I'm also posting them to YouTube and Instagram, so you can find them in any place. But if you want to find me on TikTok, it's at Only Get Comics. Go check me out. Uh, go watch the videos on there as well. So with that done, let's move on and get right into these books. And the first book we're going to talk about is Carnage issue number one. This is by uh, Torin Gronbeck with uh, art by Perry Perez. And uh, this is kind of the reuniting of the Carnage symbiote with Cletus Cassidy. That's the only person that Carnage has ever really cared about, ever really bonded with. And uh, so finally, these two are back together uh, in the flesh, I'm assuming, because we've seen kind of this supernatural version of the pairing in recent uh books like in miles and, and different uh, places but this is supposed to be the book that is setting up the next big venom event or venom happening uh so we'll see how this one goes i think it's got potential uh, i've been let down by some Car carnage series in the past so i'm a little hesitant so i'm gonna give this one a potential uh which means it's potentially good uh, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to try it out and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll find out when we do. Right. So <laughs> that's Carnage issue number one for you. Next up is Batman off world issue number one. This is by Jason Aaron and Doug Monkey. And uh, it is kind of telling the story of Batman's very first adventure into outer space. So this is like, I don't know if it's year one, but it's definitely early on in Batman's uh, crusade. And that's kind of the interesting thing. There's there's a threat, an otherworldly threat uh, from beyond the stars, as it says. And uh, we know that Batman has gone to space many, many times and fought every single possible threat there could be. But this is the very first time that he's ventured off of Earth. So, and, and it's Jason Aaron. So... That could be a really interesting story. Uh, I think there's definitely some potential there. So I am giving it a potentially good. Um, yeah. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. If you're a big Jason Aaron fan, you're definitely going to want to check this out, though. Or a Doug Monkey fan. Um, really superstar creative team behind this. So hopefully it is a really good story and uh, at least tells us something a little different from uh, Batman's past. Next up, we have Mortal Terror issue number one. This is from Dark Horse, and this is by uh, Christopher Golden and Tim Lebin on art. Also, Peter Burging, uh, also artist. So this is a slightly different take on the Dracula uh, mythos, I guess. So in this version, it's Jonathan Harker, Luce, Lucy Westerna, and Mina Murray, uh, all names from uh, various versions of of the the history of dracula right um they're vampires but the interesting twist about this is and it is in in london uh you know it, it's taking place in london and the vampires are staying underground because the mortals which are the humans uh are attempting to save their lives the vampires like bring them back to life or whatever but in the process they actually kill them like for good uh so they're trying to protect themselves and it's kind of this turn where the vampires aren't attacking the humans it's the other way around so that's kind of interesting uh, i thought that was an interesting little twist to the story so it's got some potential so again i'm giving this one a potentially good um i don't know dark horse uh puts out a lot of interesting stuff uh so i i, I recommend trying this one out and uh, especially if you're a vampire fan, if you're a Dracula fan, if you like the mythos and you like different takes on that mythos, this is one to uh, keep your eye on. So that's Mortal Terror, number one from Dark Horse. 
All right, next up we have The Miracles, number one. This is from Comics Experience Publishing, so I, I don't know if your shop will carry that. You might look for it online, see if you can find it uh, for sale. And uh, this is written by Joe Glass with art by Vince Underwood. But this is interesting. It's about a high school senior named Elliot Morgan who has been obsessed with superhero comics his entire life. But this main character that he has followed named uh, Major Voltage, his stories ended the year that, that Elliot was born. Inexplicably, no, no reasoning behind it. Don't doesn't know why that happened, but and it, I guess in trying to look into this, uh, there's a secret in his family that starts to unravel, which obviously is going to tie into why this comic stopped being published the, the year he was born, because he's also starting to develop superpowers of his own. So it's really interesting in that way. It's kind of uh, very meta. Uh, you know, life imitating art, imitating life, all, all that good stuff. So it sounds very interesting. So I'm actually going to give this one a promisingly good. Hopefully I can find it and uh, check it out. So that's the miracles. Number one from comics experience. Now we're up to my first shout out of, uh, of the week of the video. This is daredevil black armor. Number one, which is also a number one issue. Uh, so it definitely qualifies for this list. Uh, but this is by DJ Chichester. And the shout out comes from, this is uh, penciled by Nitho Diaz, who I've worked with in the past. He did a cover for one of our books, a uh, really good cover. And I, I always like to see uh, people that I work with get, uh, you know, further along in their careers and, and now working on a Daredevil book, uh, which is really cool. So this is a, um, it's set during this period where daredevil was wearing this armor uh so i don't remember what like time period that was whether it was the 90s or early 2000s uh but uh mark bagley is is there doing uh um doing covers and nito diaz doing the pencils uh brand new number one issue i'm assuming it's a mini series uh but if you're a fan of that era of daredevil and uh if you're a fan of this writer Go check it out, but definitely check it out because Nito Diaz, very talented penciler, uh, beautiful art. So definitely want to uh, shout him out and uh, go check it out. Go pick up this uh, number one issue and support uh, Nito and the rest of the team. This next book is also a shout out, but I'm also giving it a, it a rating. Uh, so uh, the shout out comes from, um, well, let me tell you about the book first. This is Darkling number one, and uh, it is from Archie Comics. And it's part of their their supernatural line, but uh, this character Darla Lang basically has the same powers as Cloak from Marvel. So she has this ability to uh, transport her enemies away by pulling them into this this cloak um, and and like teleporting them somewhere else to get them out of out of the way. So she is uh, brand new at this uh, Ivy Hollow University, and so it's it's kind of this thing where she's just come into her powers she's exploring this she's got this supernatural connection but also this university that she's gone to is very mysterious in and of itself kind of like gotham academy or like uh the school that wednesday goes to in the wednesday show on netflix uh the it's kind of life of its own and secrets of its own and uh, that's going to play into the story here as well so there's multiple layers to the story uh the creative team is why i'm shouting this out uh, but this is uh, written by Sarah Kuhn, but the art is by Corolla Borelli, who, again, I've worked with. We have a Kickstarter live right now that Corolla is the artist on Bloom Pretty, my wife's uh, book. So I, I'm really thrilled to see Corolla uh, have more work. She's got a Spider-Woman series coming up soon as well. But this one is coming out uh, next week. So Darkling, number one from Archie Comics. Definitely go check this out. Um, and I think it sounds pretty good. So I'm giving this one a promisingly good. Uh, I, I think it could be a, a really cool story. Um, sounds really good to me. And uh, if you like what Archie's been doing with the supernatural side of things, you're definitely going to want to check this one out as well. Okay, now we've got the next release from Distillery. This one is called Somna Number no. One, and this is by Becky Cloonan and Tula Lote, two you know high-profile names in the world of comics, and they are both writing and drawing the story together. 
and they've been this is the first time they've been working on this quietly for for a while this takes place in the 1600s uh you know during uh, all this uh you know witch hunting and, and all that stuff so that's kind of where things are at um it's it's the backdrop of the witch hunt uh it's a, a little bit of a i i think they the description describe well the description describes yeah that was a <laughs> anyway it follows one woman's descent into an erotic escape from the confines of her puritanical world so basically what i'm kind of thinking here is that uh and i don't know but I, i'm thinking that she falls in love with a woman of course that's frowned on in the 1600s and uh so that's kind of where the basis of the story may come but it's also a murder mystery and uh, there's all kinds of suspicions about who the real murder is uh it's got this supernatural bend to it too so maybe it really is witches we don't know uh the art is going to be absolutely gorgeous especially if that cover is any indication um it sounds like a very rich story that uh they say it's in the vein of midsummer or the witch uh so if you're into those it's a uh, just quoting the uh, description here again, intoxicating blend of history, eroticism, and the supernatural insomnia. So it sounds really cool. Uh, sounds up my alley. You got mystery, you got uh, murder mystery, you got supernatural elements to it, a period piece. Um, all that stuff kind of sings to me. Those are the kind of stories that I tend to be drawn to. Uh, so I think this one has uh, more than potential. I think it's going to be promisingly good. Uh, I mean, Becky Clune and Tula Lalote kind of sells me on it already. Uh, but yeah, it sounds really cool. And uh, I'm definitely going to check it out and hope you do too. From Distillery, uh, Becky Clune and Tula Lalote, Samna, issue number one. Uh, this is a more expensive book. If you don't know about Distillery, um, they they are releasing these uh, more expensive price point books. Uh, this is $8.99. And this probably is a key issue. Uh, because it is the first uh, issue and from uh, there's there's a lot of hype behind distillery right now so uh, definitely be aware of that and then we have the holy roller number one this is from rick remender but also from andy sandberg and uh fallout boys joe troman so this is a uh, an eclectic group of creators that have all teamed together with art by roland Bashi. Uh, who you may know from the scumbag Wolverine. Um, this is interesting because in, on multiple levels, for one, it's just this dude that that fights crime with a collection of, of bowling balls, <laughs> trick bowling balls at that. Uh, but it's also uh, this, this character is a pro professional bowler who returns to his home to find out that it's been taken over by neo-Nazis. He's also Jewish. So he is a, uh, and he, all he has at his disposal is his bowling ball collection. So this Jewish uh, character becomes a superhero basically by beating up a bunch of neo-Nazis with bowling balls. And it's by Andy Samberg and Rick Remender and Joe Trollman. So, I mean, that's just, I mean, how <laughs> can you not want to check this book out? At least to check out this first issue, probably also a key issue. Um, obviously, you know, both from the uh, the character's first you know appearance, also from the creative team uh, behind it. So check this out. This is from Image Comics, Holy Roller number one, and I'm giving this one a positively good. It's my only positively good on the list, but how can you go wrong with that? There's just too much to enjoy here. Uh, definitely go check out the Holy Roller issue number one. Uh, all right, that brings us to our last book and our only honorable mention this week. This is Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars Battle World. Um, this takes place, it's, it's kind of one of those uh, lost stories during the original Secret Wars. Um, I, you know, it sounded kind of interesting. It's, uh, it's supposed to uncover these secrets of Secret Wars 40 years, you know, in advance from the 1984 series. Uh, what secret tests are the Beyonders conducting by... Uh, doing this and how do you uh, spider-man and human torch figure into this whole thing uh what you know how do they determine the fate of the universe through the these secret wars 
Um, it, so if you're a big fan of the original Secret Wars and you want to know even more history and more secrets behind the secrets, uh, you might want to check this one out. This is Marvel Superheroes, so it's uh, I believe it's like for a, a slightly younger audience. Uh, this is by Tom DeFalco, though, uh, with art by Pat O'Leaf. So if you are a Tom DeFalco fan, uh, you're a Secret Wars fan, uh, go pick this one up. Check it out. And that's going to wrap it up for this edition of Friday First. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe and notification bell so you don't miss any of the content on the channel. You can also follow me across social media at Only Good Comics, including TikTok now. So check that out. And of course, you can come right back to this YouTube channel by typing in OnlyGoodComics.com for even more content as I talk to you about Only Good Comics. Until then, take care. Happy weekend. And uh, happy Thanksgiving next week, if you're in the States. <laughs>